Welcome to Asian English News Bulletin. This is Sayyid Mahir Zaman Mukho with our top stories of the day. Prime Minister Sheikh Hasina today stressed the need for planned industrialization by protecting the arable lands to ensure economic prosperity, urging the youths and women folks to make their contribution to the sector. The Premier urged this while opening 50 industrial units, projects and facilities in the economic zones across the country, marking the golden jubilee of the country's independence and the birth centenary of father of the nation, Bangabandhu Sheikh Mujibur Rahman. She joined the inaugural function virtually from her official Ghana Bhavan residence. Sheikh Hasina, also chairman of the Banish Economic Zones Authority, said her government is establishing industries in a planned way across the country. The Prime Minister said her government has attached priority to increasing food production through research aimed at meeting the local demand and exporting much more. Foreign Minister Kabul Mehmet said the increased activities of Russia due to the situation in Ukraine might be the reason behind the revised decision taken by Russian Foreign Minister Sergei Lavrov regarding his planned visit to Bangladesh. Mehmet told reporters after attending a program in Antaka Hotel. The Foreign Minister said the Russian side in a diplomatic communication with the Ministry of Foreign Affairs conveyed that the Russian Foreign Minister is unable to come. Suspected extremists snatched and took away two convicts condemned in the cases of murdering publisher Faisal Arifin Dippen and free-thinking writer and blogger Abhijit Roy. From the road adjacent to the chief metropolitan magistrate court in Dhaka, police said the convicts who were snatched from police custody are Mainul Islam Shamim of Shunamganj and Abu Siddiq Sohel alias Sakibur of Lal Munihar. Extremists snatched the two about 11.45 a.m. from the road adjacent to the CMM court in Old Dhaka. They were being taken to the court from Kashimpur jail in Ghazipur for producing before a court in a case. Bangladesh police have announced a bounty of Dhaka 10 lakh each on the two death row convicts. Meanwhile, Home Minister Sozaman Khan at a program said they have issued a red alert across the country to arrest them. Forces at the borders have been asked to remain vigilant so that the militant cannot escape the country, the minister said. Now going to the internationals, UN Climate Summit wrapped up with sweeping agreement on how to tackle global warming and a historic deal to create a special fund to cover the damages suffered by vulnerable nations. The two-week talks which at times appear to titter on the brink of collapse delivered a major breakthrough on a fund for climate loss and damage but left some disappointed over a failure to push for the ambition on cutting emissions. Delegates applauded after the loss and damage fund was adopted as the sun came up Sunday following days of marathon negotiations over the proposal. Now sports. The 2022 FIFA World Cup is set to start in Qatar today, marking the 22nd edition of the global football tournament supervised by FIFA. The opening match of the championship in Qatar is scheduled to start tonight at 7 p.m. Doha time between Group A teams Qatar and the national squad of Ecuador. The match will be played at the 60,000 seat capacity Al Bayat Stadium. The World Championship was initially scheduled to start on November 21st with a match between the national teams of the Netherlands and Senegal, which also play in Group A. However, FIFA Council's Bureau announced a decision on August 11 to move the championship's opening game to November 20, stating that it respected the heritage of FIFA's traditions and each World Cup with, should start with an opening ceremony and inaugural match involving the host country. This is it for now and stay tuned with Asian English News Bulletin and visit www.asiantvonline.com. Take care.